In the field of science, innovation does not come quickly. It occurs slowly, one test tube at a time. But a breakthrough can change everything. In cancer treatment, that breakthrough was a new approach to immunotherapy, a type of treatment that uses a patient's own immune system to fight the disease. For a long time, doctors have wondered why the immune system is broken when it comes to cancer because normally if you have a foreign cell invading your body, your immune system will attack it. So everybody thought, oh, cancer patients have bad immune systems and we need to stimulate the immune system. And none of that actually worked. But then an innovation happened in New Jersey that changed cancer treatment, research, and the lives of people like Jim Gritsky, a former Newark City firefighter diagnosed with stage four kidney cancer in 2017. When you first are diagnosed, you're like kind of a little floored. You don't know what's gonna happen and, and how, how you're gonna proceed. Fortunately for Gritsky, while he was fighting fires in Newark many years ago, researchers at the small Princeton-based biotech firm Metarex were conducting trials on a human antibody which they believed could help the body's immune system unlock its ability to effectively fight cancer. I happened to be at Yale at the time where we were doing studies with the drug um, that became nivolumab before BMS actually acquired it. Um, from the company called Metarex. And we started seeing that this drug worked amazingly for people with melanoma and also for lung cancer. Opdivo and Your Voice, sold by BMS or Bristol-Myers Squibb, were the products of Metarex's work. They were followed by Merck's Keytruda. These drugs are known as checkpoint inhibitors, a new type of cancer immunotherapy which Science Magazine called a turning point in cancer. Dr. Howard Hoxter says the new drugs revolutionize the treatment approach. It's taken away a lot of the less effective and more toxic treatments and replaced it with a pretty simple antibody treatment um, that has very few side effects. There are more than 850 immunotherapy clinical trials currently underway across the country, and New Jersey is leading the way in oncology research. In fact, 58% uh, of all clinical trials in New Jersey are in oncology versus 41% across the country. At the Rutgers Cancer Institute, researchers here are conducting clinical trials. I think that we're getting closer to understanding biomarkers that can predict which patients will respond to immunotherapy. Because um, the holy grail is if a patient walks into the office, we'll be able to run assessments that would tell us up front who will respond specifically to which type of therapy. After surgery and radiation, Gritsky began a clinical trial at the Rutgers Cancer Institute, receiving immunotherapy infusions for his cancer. His treatment ended this past March. Uh, for me, I was lucky. I did, really didn't have any adverse reactions from the whole treatment phase. And uh, I think that's one of the, the things that hopefully this immunotherapy will be able to help patients with so they can lead a normal life and go on with the things they like to do. For Gritsky, that means walking his dog Lexi, planning a summer vacation, and looking forward to celebrating his 45th wedding anniversary this fall. While Gritsky benefited from immunotherapy, not every patient responds to it. But there's reason for optimism. The FDA continues to approve using checkpoint inhibitor drugs for a broader range of cancer. Doctors believe these drugs are an important step toward the goal of curing cancer. And if one day that does happen, it will be thanks in part to the research and discoveries made right here in New Jersey.